one slip while I'm in the forest forging, like I lose three hundred dollars, not be a very fun experience. So, so what are you going to do? Open up a jewelry website business? Brow and done. <laughs> software or not software and uh, jewelry for <laughs> But uh, no, it's pretty fun, and I certainly do it as, as a hobby. So. It's like, there are knives for specific reasons. I would never throw that at a tree, but I would never bring that to a wedding. But I would bring that to a wedding, and I would throw that at a tree. Right? <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah, a kitchen knife is really, really, really good at being a kitchen knife. And, uh, and it's also kind of cool, because like, you've come to respect the fact that, I mean, everyone's like, a knife's a knife, right? But not really. There's different reasons that you do stuff, and there's different reasons you do uh, different design choices to be able to make something that actually functions well. So, yeah.
example of, of kind of the internal stresses that we're talking about. Um, this is a type of thing, which is really okay. different. So, did you get up? Okay, I think Cal is kind of fancy. So, I talked last year, look at Mountain Alabama. So, this is the glass oh, version of size, what but has already used a high speed camera and learn about Prince Rupert Strong. Thank you. 
Spark testing is what you're describing. Um, so they actually teach us this for testing bar stock. Um, so the idea is that you should be able to, uh, with a grinder, you should be able to tell what type of um, steel something is uh, based on how many sparks it has and what type of sparks there are. Um, so if this guy is actually going to spark something, uh, that would be helpful. But uh, the idea is if something is sparked, um, and okay, so this has like a bunch of sparks, there are some forks in them, you can see like. There's a bunch of like branching and stuff, and lots and lots and lots of sparks. It looks really full like a spark problem. Um, so this is actually a very high carbon um, thing. So that's a spark test per se. Um, and then he's probably going to go and try some less. Uh, so yeah, similar kind of thing. Really high branching. Um, that means that there's a lot of carbon because it burns easier, uh, more easily. Um, whereas like, um, eh, it's a little less. I don't know if that's a good example. Um, but effectively, they, they teach you to be able to see how much sparking branching there is. Um, and then from that, be able to tell whether or not it's a good steel or a bad steel. Um, yeah, this is copper. Copper is nothing, so you know it's not steel. That's that 